Greetings, dear viewers. So, it's been about a week, hasn't it, since the previous Mirror's Edge episode. So, about a week since the uh, Mirror's Edge playthrough has been updated on my channel, and I just wanted to give you folks a little bit of an update to let you know what's going on. Uh, I tried to record another Mirror's Edge session, but a little bit of a ways into that session, the game locked up on me, and thankfully it wasn't, it wasn't too long into the recording when that occurred, but I did have to do a hard restart of my PC and whenever I checked the recording file, uh, it seemed to be there mostly, but there are some tif uh, some technical difficulties with that file. So I need to get all that sorted out. I may just have to end up re-recording that uh, portion of the game. However, I'm not sure how to do that. I know I can go play chapter, and I know I can go to any chapter in the game and replay it that way. But um, that doesn't overwrite your save file for whenever you hit continue game. If I were to hit continue game, I would start at a point right now. Like, if I were to hit it right now, I would start at a point that's further ahead than the previous video ended. So, basically there'd be a, a large portion missing. So I may have to play back up to that point to get my save file where it needs to be before I can record the next session, or I may just have to go play chapter, but I don't really want to do that. In any case, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I need to get sorted out as far as that is concerned. Or I may actually be able to work with the footage in the file that I have. Um, I'm not sure. There are some options I have available to me here, but I didn't want... Uh, yeah, there are some options I have available to me here, but I didn't want there to be no Mirror's Edge content. So I'm going to do something in this video that I haven't done with Mirror's Edge before, and that is do the race option. I don't know what this is. I... I'm not sure I've seen it played, and even though I've beaten this game once before on stream, uh, quite a ways back, once again, have to emphasize that was quite a ways back, although I've beaten this game before on stream and played this game before, I've, um, I've never done the race section, I don't think, anyway. So let's go ahead and get into that, that way we just have some Mirror's Edge content uh, going up, and, you know, it's all new to me, so it still might be pretty fun. Race against the clock through a full chapter from story mode. Ah, okay. Time trial. What is this? Wait. It's connecting. To use online functions, you need an account. Okay. Well, I don't really want to do that. To register, you can choose to race offline, but your times and ghosts will only be stored locally. Uh, okay. Well, let's play offline. So, okay. So we can do a time trial. Oh, and kind of race. It's like Mario Kart style stuff. Or, you know, many, many racing games, but I experienced uh, time trials pretty early on in my gaming career with Mario Kart and stuff like that. And then there are the leaderboards. Okay, so you can try and do a speed run. Right, uh, cancel, play offline. So you can do a speed run of any of these chapters. Or a time trial. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and try speed run. And then maybe I'll do time trial next. Although time trial seems more interesting to me. Race against the clock. Oh, it's a clock! Okay, yeah. No, I want to do this one. I want to do race. We hit play offline. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and start with the prologue, which I'm pretty sure is training. Oops, I did some scrolling there and revealed the names of the later chapters. Uh, maybe I'll edit something there to block that off for anybody who hasn't seen the story yet. Anyway, um, or anybody who hasn't seen the uh, story. Yeah, story. Let's go ahead and try the edge. Let me start this, see what the clock's like. Qualifying time, three minutes. I wonder if I can do even just the training area like this. This should be fun. So this is completely not story related while I get these technical difficulties sorted out. Right, let's skip this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even have my I didn't even have my hands in the right positions on the keyboard, I don't think. Or I might have, but I had to check. So this is not the training area. Alright, let's keep running. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> not good! Okay. Man, gravity picks up quick, doesn't it? All right, I don't want to. I don't want to touch these solar panels at all. Oh, we're still on. We're still on the clock. The clock is still going. Oh, I so grabbed that. All right, can I restart the race? Yes, I can. Okay, so even having to reload a checkpoint counts against you. So we got to get through this whole. This whole area in three minutes. Uh. Oh, you can press spacebar a lot sooner than I thought there. 
it's just easier to climb up here instead of going for the straight run. And... I think I do this. It felt kind of slow, but at the same time, not really. I remember this part. It's funny. Nice work, Faith. You're making good time. Celeste's Thanks. almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. It's funny. Whoa, I forgot about this part. Yeah. Oh, completely forgot about this part. Whenever you do YouTube videos, you yeah. see the same parts of the game like four, five, eight, ten times sometimes, depending on how far you've gone into editing. Wires of fizzing about you, Faith. Oh, right. Like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. I forgot how to do this part. No, I didn't. No, I did not. So we're at a minute 20. I don't know how far along we are until the finish line. Just get the hell out of there. Forgot we're not supposed to roll after dropping out of that shaft. Because that puts you closer toward the guns. I'm patching Celeste. You there, Phil? What the hell happened? I can hear gunshots, and that bird seems a little too curious. Space on her way. Get your ass ready to move. I think we go up to the helicopter, right? This is the that's where this part goes. Got a minute to get wherever we're going. Blues ahead. You're gonna have to get thrown. I think fighting these guys takes up way too much time. You ready, Phil? Yep, I can see face now. <gasps> Got 30 seconds. Maybe it's maybe it's when I get to Celeste. Whew. <sighs> get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Does this count? Hey, throw me the bag. Yeah, I think okay, this counts. I got it from here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Get out of here. Now, does the clock start again? Oh, it paused for the cutscene. That's what that whole thing was. Man, I thought I was doing really well. Well, maybe not, but whatever. Here we go. Whoop. That should do it, right? Let's press space to skip and see if it does the thing. Yeah, okay. I beat my personal record, which was, you know, zero, 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 zero. Actually, that'd be extremely fast, wouldn't it? No, I guess not. Um, because that just means no value, which means you haven't done it yet. All right, so let's see if we can try that again. No. Yeah, let's try that again. See if we can beat that time. I don't see the difference between this and time trial, though. So, actually, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's see what see what the difference between that and time trial is. Cause that's speed run. Now let's see time trial. Oops, no, I don't want to create an account. Play offline, there we go. Oops, I did the whole scrolling thing again. Playground one. Complete training area in story mode to unlock this course. Okay, I already did that. And there's Edge. Alright, so this is Edge. This is the prologue. Unless these are not the same courses. No, they're not, because the qualifying times are like a minute here. So these are completely different courses, huh? That's pretty cool. Let me try this. So it's not story-based. It's not, it's not from the campaign or the story at all. It's time trial maps specifically for time trials. Whoa, this looks crazy. What is this? Playground 1, 45 meters, 68 meters, 39 meters, 59 meters, 52 meters, target time. I don't understand what any of this is. Oh, the track length. Okay, so there's 45 meters. Checkpoint, 68 checkpoint, 39 checkpoint. Is that the deal? All right, let's see what we have. All right, let's start the... Oh, okay, this is weird. Target time, two minutes. So let's see where we go. I don't even know what those uh, beams are. I guess I have to run through those beams. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, we we'll run through this. Yeah. Oh, this. Okay. Okay, man. This could be extremely fun. I'd really.
really like the stuff that I can interact with to be red. Uh, which way is the next one? Up? <laughs> okay, so these are these are the same maps. You just gotta hit certain checkpoints to get there. Man, this feels so slow right now. But I guess we're approaching the halfway mark. And we are about halfway on the timer. So there's that. What am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Where am I going? Uh, what happened? Where am I? I'm stuck like... Oh, that's right. Dang, I messed up. Alright. Let's do this again without messing up. That shimmy takes so much time. You know what? Since we already did mess up, let's see if there's a better way up there than that. We don't have to go to the pipes, do we? We can just do this. Now, do we even have to go through that whole area? Because it takes us up there. So if it takes us up there, couldn't we... Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, no! Oh, alright. Yeah, because, I mean, we'd have to run up to that platform, shimmy along the edge there, jump up there, do this whole number, and then eventually just get to that point anyway. So, it seems like we can just go... Up here, and then... I think I can do another kick off of that onto that top scaffolding there. This is just me testing stuff out. Yeah, I can do that. Ah, okay, okay. And then this says for me to go that way from here. So I'd have to take this. I gotta hit that beam over there. Gotta drop sooner than I want to, or than, than seems right. Remember that part. Tuck up. Now, once we cross that and land, we make this jump, and then we've got to get up there. I think that's the finish line, because it looks a little bit more grand than the other beams of light. So, I think, uh, yeah, I think, oh, wait, there's this. Okay, so we're going to do this number and go... And then gotta maintain speed. Hmm. It does seem like that's what I should be doing right here. Aha! I gotta aim for this. And then once up here, I guess we can go the normal route, which is this platform. And then here's the finish. Yeah. Too slow. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, we've got a route planned. That's cool. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Start race. We got this this time. It said par was two minutes? Yeah, I think par was two minutes. Oh no, I didn't need to jump there. Bit of a slowdown. That's fine. Now, we didn't do a whole lot of innovating in the first half of the course, did we? So we're just kind of going with the flow on this one. Actually, we don't have access to the flow here, do we? We have our own personal flow, not the uh, game assistance version of it. Got to be quick with that, though, in order to ace this. There we go. I got that. Now we climb up. And then it's this way, right? Oh, right, right, right. This way, this way. All right, so we're at 41 seconds right now. We're doing a lot better than we were previously. Got to make that early let go. Boom. A little bit better that time, even. Keep moving. Jump, curl up. Now we jump up here and aim for that orange railing. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Bit of a slip up, but we have plenty of time. So no need to worry. <gasps> plenty of time. Whew, we can roll here. Oh, that was good. That felt pretty nice. Alright, we should be able to jump up here and then finish this off like so. Alright, man. 
So we did 2 minutes 23 seconds better than we uh, did previously. I have one star on Playground 1. Wow! I have unlocked Playground 2. Okay. How do you get three stars? You, have to, you must need to be extremely fast. Ah, I see. Okay. Look at that. Each leg of this race. It shows you how well you've done in those portions. Looks like we spent a lot of time examining and uh, analyzing in the middle of it there. And then we did better after all that. Um, kind of want to try this one again. I like stuff like this in games, where you do the same thing repeatedly, trying to get just a little bit better each time. Although in these early stages, you can improve by leaps and bounds each time. I feel like I'm, I'm maintaining a lot of speed here. I wonder if I can jump onto this balancing beam. Doesn't sound safe, but I wonder if it'll help me keep more speed when doing doing that. Oh, come on, Faith. Oof. Uh, I felt like I nailed that, but I didn't. All right, so I gotta jump there. Okay, well I did this like really well last time, right? There we go. Why does this go this way? Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go this way. I really want to just make it right onto that roof. I think I can do that. So we're gonna do this. And you come up here and just... Oh, hey! That was the, the ghost for the time trial thing. That's pretty cool to see that. Well, we know our previous self just beat our current self. Ah, you can make that jump. Okay. Even with the messing up, though, that was still only 10 seconds behind. Let's try this again. This is the kind of thing that I could just do over and over and over for, like, most of these maps, probably. That seems like the perfect thing to stream. Barely caught it that time, but we did. We did. We did. We did catch the uh, platform there. And down we go. Boom. Feel like we're doing fairly well. Now this is the tricky part because you've got to jump at the very last instant here. Oh yeah. And then you just make it straight to the exit or the finish line. Wow, 18 seconds faster. Is that two stars? Oh, three stars! Bam! We did it! That's awesome! We skipped the two star entirely. I love when that happens. Total skill rating three. Alright, man. So we totally rocked that one. I like how that turned out. That's pretty cool. Wow! A fraction of a second faster on basically all of them except for the last two, in which we saved two seconds on the previous one at 14 on the other. So that's pretty neat. Alright, so let's exit race. I like time trial. Time trial is really fun. Then there's Playground 2, which is unlocked. Beat a qualifying time on Playground 1 to unlock this course. Alright, let's go ahead and try Playground 2. But I do want this video to be a shorter one. So let's just give it a shot and see what it's like. Since we three-starred the first one, we can move on. That's what I tend to do in, in stuff like this. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played the game Uniracers on the Super Nintendo way back when. But yeah, that's one of the first games that I had an experience like this and I loved it. Where it offered you bronze, silver, and gold trophies. I guess uh, Mario Kart did that too and I did that in Mario Kart as well. But anyway, yeah, but Uniracers is one of the ones that I that, that kind of really sticks with me there along with Mario Kart. But yeah, those two games were some of my first experiences with like this and I loved it. Wow, the first part of the track is 103 meters. Alright, let's just see what this one's like. 
but yeah, when it came to Uniracers, I remember spending a lot of time and feeling really good when I... Hey, wait, 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 we know this place. <laughs> oh, we're going a totally different direction here. Whoa! This is the same map, but now we're going in different directions, and it's crazy! This looks totally different, but not at the same time. Whoop! Oh, that's rough right there. Yeah, when it came to Uniracers, it was just... Oof, okay, why can't I do that? What's happening? Let's take our time. Oh, I see. Does this count? I don't know if you have to, if you just have to touch the red beam altogether, like if I can just jump through that, or if I have to touch it at the ground level. Anyway, yeah, Uniracers was really cool. It felt really good to get the gold stars or the gold medals or whatever it was at the time, whatever that game had. Oh man, that's scary, dude. This one, this one's kind of confusing, but I'd love to figure it out. Pretty excited for the second installment of Mirror's Edge here. Waiting for that to get launched. Nope, I did that wrong. At least I rolled. Can't do that. Yeah, we gotta figure this one out before we run it again. I think we're going this way now. Let me go. Gotta jump at the right time, and that is not the right time so far. I wonder what they're going to improve upon, or maybe not, <laughs> in Mirror's Edge 2, or the second one. What is it called? Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I think? I'm not I'm not sure if it's Mirror's Edge 2, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, or like Mirror's Edge 2 Catalyst, you know? <laughs> I need to I need to check up on that. What's going on here? Man, this is something that, this is good practice though. Whenever you're doing a playthrough of a game for YouTube or something like that, it doesn't always, it doesn't always like, it's, it's not really like extreme, extremely bothering or anything like that, but whenever you mess up, you just know you're going to get some comments about it sometimes. That hasn't really been the case since my channel got uh, a lot smaller. Well, the channel is actually still pretty big. I still have like 200,000 subscribers, but as far as translating that into views goes, not a lot of people are actually clicking the videos these days. Um, where are we going now? Anyway, so messing up in a story mode or a campaign or something like that where you feel like you should ace it every time, I don't know, there's a, bit, there's a little bit of pressure there. Not a ton. Again, I don't want you guys to feel like uh, I'm complaining or anything like that. This is completely an objective analysis of what goes on in that regard. What's even happening here? Um, but in a time trial or something like this where, where you're, it's designed for you to run it multiple times and for you to figure it out before you get a solid path, messing up doesn't feel bad at all. Whoa. Ooh, wow, I think we barely landed that, maybe. Anyway, that was... Oh, why did I do that? That was basically a long-winded way of me saying... It doesn't really feel that bad to mess up here. You know, it's just become muscle memory at this point to hit Q to do those off-the-wall jumps. So whenever I need to make a... distance-gaining leap instead of a direction-changing leap off of a wall and I don't have to hit Q, it's kind of, it feels a little bit different. And there is the... Woohoo! Oh, I didn't land on it. There we go. There's the exit. So that's like a minute or two off the par time. That took four minutes. That's fine, though. I actually had a lot of fun with that one because the... Uh, I didn't pay 100% attention to the course. I was talking a lot about various different topics, and that was fun. I like that. That was cool. So anyway, I just, this video is just to give you folks a uh, an update on what's going on with the Mirror's Edge series and the technical difficulties with recording and what have you, and letting you know that I am trying to sort it out. And when I do, we'll go ahead and continue the storyline. So there is that. In the meantime, hope you guys are enjoying the Planet Side 2, the Shadow Blade Reload, and whatever else happens to go up on the channel. This is a variety gaming channel, so whatever goes up, I hope you guys enjoy it. Or if you don't, then... Uh, I hope you enjoy the other stuff that comes out. Alright. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you next time.